Hi, my name is Nelson. I'm your consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, hold on, wait till it, wait till it. You haven't subscribed to my channel. What are you waiting for? Listen, I told you that this is your business of water production. I'm going to be with you from the beginning to the end. As long as I'm alive, which I'm sure that I'm going to be alive. So, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel so that when I upload videos that relate to your business, you'll be notified. And with a click, you have access to my video. What are you waiting for, my friend? Click on the subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. Also, like, share, and comment on the comment box so that I can attend to your, your burning questions and we, we could solve problems together. Thank you. Quickly, let's look at something that is very, very important. Many of you have a water factory and you don't even know what you are putting in to produce what you have. And at the end of the day, you don't even know what is your profit. At the end of producing and distributing a certain quantity of, of water, you don't know your profit. At the end of the week, you don't know. At the end of the month, you don't know. At the end of three months, two months, one year, you don't even know your profit because you have not taken into cognizance the cost of your production. Do you know what you do? You just keep pumping money. Keep pumping money. And your manager will tell you that, my boss, they're not buying the water. Let's sell at 150. Let's sell at 100 per bag. Oh, my friend, wake up. Wake up. And because you're under pressure, so manager will tell you that as soon as you lose your, mar your customers in the market, you're falling out of business. That is not true. It is never true. Where the economic situation is so hard, biting on the, on, on the production section sectors, you are not a fat Christmas. Of course you are not. You are business-minded. So know the cost of your production so that you can fix a good price for your product, your sachet water. Now today, we'll be looking at what does it cost you to produce and what will it cost you to distribute this water to your consumer or your distributor. Costs, calculating the production costs and distribution cost of a bag of sachet water. Now, if you look at this place, I have my packing bag, I have my printed nylon, I'm not with my filters for your quality control and other stuff. But let's say this is what you should be thinking of God getting. Because if you want to go into production now, after you have had your machine and every other thing on ground, well, your, your next point of thinking now is your printed nylon. Now we have our printed nylon, we have our packing bag. Now, you want to commence production, but you should have a projection. The projection is that if I have 3 kg of this packing bag, or of this printed nylon, what am I going to generate at the end of production? What will I impute again for distributions? And what will come to me? And how much will I also use to re-impute re into the business? Now, let's look at this now. Let's assume that we have 3 kg of your printed nylon. I don't start talking about 100 kg, I don't start talking about 200 kg of oil oh, and half a, ton, half a ton, that's 500 kg or 1 ton, 1000 kg. Because if I should do that, I'll get you confused. Let's start with a simpler one so that if you want to deal with 6 kg or you want to deal with 9 kg, you just multiply 6 kg, you multiply by 2, um, 9 kg multiply by 3. And then, at the end of the day, you have still have what, what I have on the board here. Now, I have 3 kg of printed nylon. And in Nigeria currently, the least you can get, the least amount you can get for a kg is 2,200 naira. There are places that say it's 2,250. There are places that will say that it's 2,300. But let me use a minimum. The minimum. Three. 2,200. Now, if you multiply 2,300 by 3, 
it will give you 6,600 naira for 3 kg of printed naira. Now, I have this 3 kg. Now, the, the next thing I will start thinking is, what is the micro of my printed naira? Please take notes. The higher the micro, the lower the quantity at the end of the production. The, the lower the micro, the higher the quantity of production. That is to say that someone that is using 28 micro for production, we have a higher quantity at the end of production than someone that is, that is using 30 micro. The same someone that is using 30 micro, we have a higher production than someone that is using 32 micro. The same thing with someone having 32 micro, we have higher production than someone that is using what 34 micro. Quickly, let's go. Now, let's say I'm using 30 micro for my production. Now, 30 micro for production. And at the end of the day, the minimum, I'll have what? 38 bags. 38 bags. Now, that's the total bag now. For this 3 kg, will give me what? 38 bags. Now, if I'm having 38 bags, now I'll multiply 3, 38 times 3 kg. If 1 kg can give me 38 bags, 3 kg times 38 will give me 114 bags. Now, I have 114 bags. To be at safer side, I could go for a higher packing bag. Now, this is a bundle of packing bag. This bundle of packing bag contains something like this. 10 of it, 10. And each of these has 100 pieces. That is to say that in a bundle of packing bag, we have what? 100 times 10, which is what? 1,000 pieces. Now, I'm looking for one round 14 packing bag to use for this production. Plus or minus, let me go for one round 20 bags. I'll now look for what? 20 pieces from here. And after this, now I'm set to produce my what? 3 kg. Of printed nylon. Now, in Nigeria currently, a bundle of packing bag costs 8,000 naira. Now, if you divide 8,000 by 1,000, it will give you what? 8 naira per pieces. Now, if you have 8 naira per pieces, multiply 8 naira times 120 pieces, it will give you what? 960 naira. 960. Now, we've done the production. 3 kg has been produced and we have 114 bags minimum. It could be more than that. Now, you need to move this to the market. You have a high jet. A high jet can comfortably take 1 round 14. Comfortably, 1 round 14. You load the 1 round 14 into your high jet and say, go and sell it for me. Remember, pure water is actually a local product. You can't have a pure water and you've loaded one round 14 and you ask the person that go as far as five, k, uh, five kilometer or ten kilometer to supply the water it's far it's far you move around your locality and you sell it with 1500 fuel you should be able to distribute this one round 14 bags now during productions you have a lister we are concentrating more on the sachet side now Sachet's business now, pure water, look, popularly called pure water. Now, you have your lister with 2,500 naira diesel, you should be able to produce 114 bags and you should still have some in your lister. Now, why did I say lister? If you have four membrane or six membrane, it's a single face um, arrow. So, your lister can take it. Now you have your lister, you buy this diesel, 2,500, and you produce this. Now, the commission for your operators, currently, no operator takes less than 10 naira per bag. So, 10 naira multiplied by 114, you will have 1,140 naira to your operators. Now, the drivers that will take this water out, no drivers take less than 10 naira per bag. Now, you also give them a commission of 1,140. In some factories, they will pay more than this to their drivers. More than this to their, com to, 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 to their operators. But let's be at a minimum rate, which is what? 10 Naira for your operators and 10 Naira for your drivers. 
Now, you've settled that for distribution now. Your water has gone now, and it's back. Then, you need to allocate another money for your salary. Of course, you have cleaner in the factory. Of course, you have a manager in the factory. Of course, you have yourself the owner of the factory to be paid at the end of the month. Now, your vehicle too needs to be maintained. You need to service your vehicle. You need to do a lot of things to the vehicle. Eventuality might come up, which we are not praying for. You need to uh, budget money for, for tires, because soon your tire will wear and tear and what have you. So you need to budget money for it and other things. Then we have your buildings too. If you're not renting, good. Let's assume the building belongs to you. You need to renovate the building at the end of the year. You need to do a lot of things on the building. Sometimes the ties need to be replaced and what have you. You need to think about the building itself. Then the wear and tear of your, your circuit machine. The, 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 you need to get caught in rubber. You need to get teflon. You need to uh, try to stop leakage. Try to stop waves and all these things. You need to take care of the machines and every other thing in the factory. So I allocate 1,000 Naira. That is to say that you've gone out with this one, one, one round 14 bags. Was whichever money that comes out of it, you save 1,000 for this. Your salary, your vehicle, your building, your wear and tear, and others. You may call, you buy recharge card, you buy ETA, you buy data. Make those provisions. As long as your call and your data is for your customers, to your drivers and what have you, make this money available so that you can dip your hand and take from inside. Now that is to say that let's assume you have a you you you, you have a factory that you have a good driver that, that knows the market very well and it goes out ten times a day. That means you will save ten thousand every day. You will save ten thousand every day. And this money you're not touching it until when it's time for salary. When it's time for vehicle maintenance, when it's time for beauty, when it's time for wear and tear. Still talking about your wear and tear. You, there are times you need to recharge your media. You need to change your membrane. You need to do other things. It's part of it. So, you have your 1,000. And if you have much more than this one vehicle, you should know what it means. So, you have your 1,000 per every movement. Every movement of one round, 14 bucks. Then, your quality, which is very, very important. A lot of factories have neglected this. You go to factory, you see, you 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 you, you will see uh, your filters have changed color. You ask them what this filter changed last, they don't know. A month has gone, two months has gone, three months has gone, and you're not even checking it. You're not even checking your UV light and other stuff. In my odd, in my subsequent video, I'm going to deal on how to maintain, sustain quality of the water, both in season and out of season. It's very important. So I allocate a quality of what? 200. So let's assume that this person goes out 10 times in a day. That means 200 times 10, 2,000. Now you save 2,000 every day for your quality. Now tell me, why would your, your, your water be acceptable? You need to beg someone to buy at your price. You don't need to beg anybody to buy at your price. So quality is very important. And that's why I also allocate 200 naira per every movement. It's not every day. Every movement of 114 bucks. That is, at every 3 kg. Now let's assume you buy, you have 100 kg. And then at the end of production and distribution, you should be able to say 100 kg divided by 3. Now, let's say it gives you 33, 33 for example. Now, you now multiply by that, by this 200. Then you know that you have your quality money, so 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 amount for quality. Now, we've done this, we've allocated money accordingly. Now, the total cost and total distribution, and including your overhead and everything, now is 15,040 naira. 15,040 naira. Now, then the next thing now is let's know how much I'm going to sell a bag. From this analysis, from this projections. Now, if you sell at 200 naira, we have 114 bags times 200 naira. It will give us 22,000 
800 naira. 22,800 naira at 200. Now, at 250, at 250 naira, it will give us one round for 10 bag multiplied by 250 naira. It will give us 28,500. Now, coming down this way, now this is the cost of production and the cost of distribution and all your overhead is here. Now, 22,800 naira minus your total cost and total and distribution, which is 15,040 naira, will give you 7,760. 7,760. Now, this is what you're left with now. You spend this money and you've made 28,800. Now, you've removed the money that you spent. You're left with 7,760. What are you going to do? It's not that bad for you to have 7,760. You quickly buy another 3 kg at 6,600. And something is remaining. A thousand plus is remaining. Buy your pack and buy the game. And then, production continue. Distribution continue. Your factory continues to exist. Ask those that sell less than 200 naira. Ask those that sell their water at 150. Ask those that sell their water at 170. They will tell you that, hey, they are no longer in the business again. Because they refuse to do the cost and distribution analysis. Now, if you have to sell at 250, for example, you make 28,500 naira from 3 kg. The way you minus your cost of production and distribution, you are left with 13,460. Wow. That's a huge amount of money. And then you have this amount of money. You buy this. You buy this. You see? You can able to afford money for your uh, food as well. Money for all this. And then the money that comes in again, still yours. With two, when you sell your water at what? 250. This is your cost. You want to sell at 200? You want to sell at 250 per bag of sachet water? This is what it will amount to. And at the end of the day, you'll make your profits. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, and drop your comments so that I will be encouraged to bring this and more to you. Please, if there are questions on this calcula calculation, drop it at my comment section and I will respond to you. Thank you very much.